All right, good morning. This is Sunday. Uh, it's about quarter to seven in the morning. I start an elective clerkship rotation at probably what is gonna be my number one choice for residency tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be spending a month on inpatient cardiology consult service, um, seeing patients with heart attacks, heart failure, anything heart, that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm so stoked. I got here yesterday morning, or yesterday in the afternoon. I was kind of a little excited this morning and I figured I'd go for a walk, check out the hospital, check out where I'm gonna be for the next four weeks. So I'm just kind of taking it all in right now. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning. All right, so I just finished my orientation and I got my parking pass and everything. Now I'm gonna go back and meet the fellow to see what we got going on. All right, so we're back home. It's only 2.57, today was a super short day. We kind of got introduced to the cardiology fellows and then we were just kind of hanging out, waiting for consults to come in, people who had chest pain or you know maybe irregular rhythms, anything like that. And there was only one consult all day long and there weren't even very many like follow-up patients to see. All right, so we just got a consult in the main hospital for concerns of an end STEMI, which is a non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. Um, so I had to briefly review this patient's chart and I'm going to go check on her, see how she's doing, do a physical exam and come up with a differential. All right, so this is the cardiology um, consult call room basically and I kind of just hang out in this room and we wait for consults to come in. You know, that could be anything from EKG changes to people with new onset chest pain, all kinds of things like that. All right, so my first few days were kind of slow, not too many consults. Today has literally been nonstop. We've had like 10 consults. Um, it's not even two o'clock yet, so things are getting pretty hectic. I'm on my way to the emergency department for a consult for a patient um, who was recently diagnosed with heart failure and he's having worsening shortness of breath. So I'm gonna go check him out, see what's going on. All right, it's five o'clock. We're finally leaving the hospital. Today was nonstop from cardiac tamponades, which is intense fluid buildup around the heart to you know, heart failure exacerbations. I saw a ton of stuff today. I'm just gonna go home, hit the gym, and I'll tell you guys about it a little later. Stabilize, please. We're back. And, oh my goodness. Let me see if I can. WTF, mate. So as I talked about earlier, I, I had several patients I had to consult in the emergency room. Um, which is kind of, you know, interesting being the only one who goes down there like, hey, I'm part of the cardiology team. Meanwhile, I really don't know hardly anything compared to the fellows, right? I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm not completely incompetent, but it's interesting to, you know, kind of report to these cardiology fellows, people who were, who will be cardiologists, some of them in, you know, like a year or so and tell them everything that I think is going on, what I think the plan should be for this patient who is in heart failure or patient who has a cardiac tamponade with all this fluid, you know, pressing on their heart and preventing it from filling. So it was just an intense day. It was a lot of fun. We had two attendings today. So we had morning rounds and afternoon rounds. And then I just kind of wrote a note on one of my patients and then that was it. So so being totally honest, I'm still kind of just like in awe and I'm just very thankful to be in this position right now and just getting the exposure that I am. So, so here's some more awesome experiences on cardiology. All right, good morning. It is Friday morning. We are wrapping up our first week of inpatient cardiology. All right, it is 8.52. I just finished rounding on all my patients um, who were here from overnight. Now let's hope we get some good consults. All right, it's two o'clock on Friday. We're done for the day. We had a bunch of consults early on, rounded on all of our patients. And 
the fellows kind of let us go early. They were just like, hey, it's Friday. You know, you, don't, you guys don't gotta wait around for a couple hours while we try to have new consults and whatnot. Enjoy your weekend, and I'm never gonna argue with that. I also was actually able to meet with the program director today just very briefly, went and spoke with him, and I'm just super grateful that I actually had that opportunity. So, still riding this wave right now, but... So the goal is we're gonna hit legs, and then we're gonna go get some bomb sushi to reward us. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, so it's Friday night, and I decided to go with my roommate, June. Hi. Yeah, this is June. Yeah, my name is June, <laughs> and we are in the brewing company. We are in the brewing company, that's right. So June is here for six months. You're getting your PhD in what is it again? Uh, mechanical engineering and aerospace. With mechanical engineering and aerospace. So June is basically a badass. <laughs> we're here, we're celebrating the end of the week with a couple of brewskis, and uh, we're gonna go check out a dope sushi place after, so we'll see you later. Yep, see you later. All right, it is 7.30. We just got to the hospital for week two. Let's go. All right, so the day has begun. Um, we're starting our pre-rounds on our patients. We're not gonna round until about noon today. So hopefully we get a bunch of consults and it stays interesting. We're back at 412. We're done for the day. It's a pretty good day overall. You can see a lot of cool stuff. But I kind of I haven't been feeling the greatest. I ate some bad chicken a couple of days ago, which is totally my fault. I had this chicken and it smelled kind of funky, but I looked at the expiration date and it didn't expire for like two more weeks. I was like, there's no way this chicken's bad. Well, I ate it and uh yeah, wish I never did. So note to self, trust the smell more so than the expiration date, I guess, moral of the story. All right, it is 7.20, currently walking to the hospital. I'm a little, little late. Uh, forgot I had to make my lunch this morning, but it is what it is. Another day, another dollar in debt, baby, am I right? So a typical day for me on cardiology consults, you know, I get here around 7, 7.15, and then I read up on my patients from the day before, and then I go and see them, and that's that's what we call pre-rounding. So I'll round, you know, by myself and go see the patients that I had seen from previous days. I'll see how they're doing with um, the new medication changes we've made, and then, you know, review any images or any tests that we had ordered from the day before, and then come back and I'll usually work on my notes until we round. And we typically round for a couple of hours in the morning, and then we'll round again in the afternoon after lunch for any new consults that we had admitted during that time. And we ultimately come up with a plan for them. All right, so I'm here at this Korean restaurant with my roommate, June. Yeah. That's right, and we are, we are grubbing out on some authentic Korean food. Let me show you guys this. All right, so here we have, what do we have? What's it called? It's called bibimbap. Bibimbap. Yeah, yeah it's very healthy food in Korea. Healthy food, yeah. Korea. And what was this, this again? This is bajan. Bajan. Yeah, we eat this with a lot of drinks. Korean drinks. with lots of Korean drinks. Okay, we got some pork belly here. Yeah, with gochujang. What's that called again? It's gochujang pork belly. Okay, yeah. all right. And then, <laughs> what do we got for you, Jun? Here is tangsu. It is like a shifted Chinese food, but Koreans always eat this. Yeah, the Korean day. spin. Yeah, Korean spin, right? All right, we're about to grub. I'll let you know how it is. All right, so we're back home. We're both literally about to pop. Oh. June, what do you give that in terms of like authentic Korean feel? Uh -huh. Scale of one to ten. One to ten, I think I might give seven. Yeah, seven, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Seven. In terms of authentic Korean yeah, authentic type Korean of style. Course. Yeah. For me, having that being my first Korean meal, I give that like a eight point eight at least out of ten. Oh, that's nice. I thought that was really really good. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to Korea. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. All right, welcome back to another morning vlog at 7.04. I'm just about at the hospital right now. So something that's been really nice about this month on cardiology is I only have to worry about one system, the heart, right? So it's really 
made me <laughs> seriously consider fellowship at this point because yeah, you have to know everything about that one thing, but that's all you have to worry about. So yeah, you'll know everything about the rare disorders and all those kinds of things, but most of your bread and butter cases in the hospital are pretty straightforward and uh, it just makes things a lot easier. So I'm having a good time right now, not having to worry about every single system like I had to worry about last month on internal medicine. First consult done, another AFib. It's so funny, the only way for me to prevent my glasses from fogging up is to shove my mask this far up. Otherwise, if they're down, every time I breathe out of my nose, my glasses get foggy. So it's 9.20 Friday. I'm just doing my rounds on my patients from the day before, before we do official rounds at 10.45. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can leave at like 2.30 or something. All right, so it's Friday. It's about 3.30. I'm going to see my last consult. I've got all my notes written. So I'm gonna see this patient and then a couple others that we have to round on as a team, write my last note and I'll get out of here probably around five o'clock, which, in all honesty, isn't too, too bad. And then the plan is to hit the gym, go out and have some beers to kind of wind down for the week. I feel like I've earned it at this point. All right, so it's Saturday. June and I are at this park called the Devil's Den. And uh, it's kind of like a, a spring and you can go snorkeling or go scuba diving. And we didn't know, but you're supposed to make reservations ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. But they snuck us on. We're like the last two people for the day. So some things are just meant to be, right? Yeah. All right, so we'll keep you posted. Hopefully I can get some cool footage in there. The Devil's Den. Excuse me. Let's see. I'm getting worried about you too. All right, so this looks like a normal, you know, park. Nothing too special until you see this giant hole in the ground. And that's where we were. Crazy. All right, people, the spring was a success. June, what do you think? It was crazy. It was so deep. I almost, almost drowned. <laughs> <laughs> so June had never, he's never been in super deep water. I don't know how deep that spring went, but I could swim down probably like, you know, 20 feet with these fins on and I could not see the bottom at all. There were these big caves, there were tons of scuba divers, and so glad we got to experience that. Glad June got to get out of his shell a little bit and see something new. Yeah, it was really just interesting. <laughs> all right, what's up? We're back. It is quarter to seven in the morning, and this is Monday, my last week on inpatient cardiology. Had a blast this weekend away from kind of everything, all the stressors that I'm dealing with. Finally was able to like space out, but also got hit with the harsh reality of the fact that I'm applying to residency in 10 days and trying to get these applications in and trying to figure out what hospitals I'm applying to and all that stuff. It's just like, it's just a lot. And you know, so I'm trying to kind of stay focused, do everything I'm supposed to for this rotation, but also, you know, put a bunch of time into my application, right? I honestly can't believe it's already my last week. Something valuable that I think I gained from this rotation is understanding better when to consult the cardiologist or not. Because seeing it from their point of view, having all these people consult you for like the most minor thing ever, um, I could see why that would burn people out, getting consults for any type of chest pain, any type of EKG change and anything like that. I feel like I have a much better understanding of putting the picture together of the patient and being able to differentiate what is something that's worrisome and what is something that's not. So I'm definitely glad that I had this experience. Let's head on in so we can get there bright and early, see if we got any consults going. All right, 7.58, we're on our way to see our first consult. So it's 
30 and I just finished pre-rounding on all my patients. Luckily today we're not rounding until 11.30, thank God. So I'm gonna go back, probably get a matcha and um, work on my notes before we, before we round. All right, it's 4.50, the day is done. I'm super tired, I don't know why. I also had two donuts today, so that could be something to do with it. So I'm gonna go home, work on finishing my application for residency. I'm literally like so close, but I still feel like I'm so far. So I'm gonna go home and try to get that done. It is 7.09, we're on our morning walk to the hospital. I got this awesome little lake with fountain to walk past every morning. It's the little things, you know? All right, so it's 4.20 and we are done. Today was one of those days that just literally is nonstop the entire time. I'm really starting to feel a lot more comfortable with managing patients with heart failure and different kinds of arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter. So I'm really glad that I got this rotation. So I go home tomorrow and I haven't really been grocery shopping. I ran out of food like yesterday, but I'm just coasting and I think I'm just gonna live on public subs for the next day or two, which I'm not upset about by any means. All right, it is officially last day on cardiology consult service. What a month. Hopefully they got some juicy stuff waiting for us today. All right, it is 9.10 and we are finished pre-rounding. I'm gonna go and write some notes before we round with the attending and hopefully just have everything ready to go as quickly as possible because I'm driving home after this and I really hope that I beat the traffic. So the rest of my day ended up being pretty hectic, which was pretty on brand for that entire rotation. At the end of the day, I had everything packed up. I zoomed back to my parents' place for the weekends to spend the weekend with them before starting my next rotation. If you made it this far, I hope you consider liking my video. And if you want to follow through the rest of my fourth year of medical school through to residency, uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Either way, thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. So that's it for this one. I'll see you all next time. Later.